Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I am Marina, and this is gonna be a kind of enormous Dollar Tree haul. A lot of the stuff here I plan on using for the 4th of July. Um, my in-laws are coming at the end of the week, so I might use some of it now in a sort of like post Memorial Day, Memorial Day barbecue, because my father-in-law is a veteran, and I feel that he deserves to celebrate Memorial Day in a barbecue fashion even if it's post Memorial Day. But I'm really excited that they're coming and I have tons of like barbecue stuff that I picked up for 4th of July and to use maybe over this weekend. So I'm gonna share that stuff with you guys now. I did pick this up. I think these are so cute. It says grill, eat, chill, repeat, cold drinks, good eats and barbecue. And I actually probably picked this up a while ago but they still have them in the store. I'm probably not gonna put like barbecue sauce and stuff like that in here. I'm gonna put homemade salad dressing and um, marinade, like a lemon vinaigrette marinade for when I'm barbecuing to put over like chicken and like a homemade salad dressing. But I think these containers are awesome and they have the squirt caps and they're covered. Yeah, these are so good to have for barbecue season. I think they're excellent for a dollar, a great little buy. Then I found these and I purchased multiples of these. They are so cool, you guys. They're extendable, like pitchfork type of things so that you can, you guessed it, roast your marshmallows without roasting your, par without roasting your arms. Um, be careful, it's so, so sharp. This is crazy sharp. I prefer this, it has a little handle, than using those wooden skewers that you throw away after you use them because somehow I always manage to stab myself in the leg with those when I throw them in the garbage bags. So I did also pick up more of the puffs, which I think is amazing. Classic milk chocolate filled marshmallows. These are an awesome buy and I did go into a store recently that had more of these. So I stocked up on some more. So we can do some roasted marshmallow s'mores with these and this, this is gonna be so fun. Isn't that awesome, you guys? I love these, I'm so excited. I think they're bringing them back in some store. I've seen them now in a couple stores restocked. I hope they start carrying these all the time. My son loves these and they do make delicious s'mores. I picked up some more of these trays. Uh, I did hear someone say that they come in magenta. I've never seen them in magenta, but I have seen them in red and teal and blue, and I love them. I have, um, so far I have seven of these. I just think that they're cool if you're having like a small get together so that everyone could just put their stuff in the tray and sit in the chair. And they're kind of like a chillax little barbecue for not a lot of people. I mean, I'm not gonna buy hundreds of them and I probably will throw these away at the end of summer because I'm not gonna move them with me but I picked up seven so far and I just think that they're fun to use on a regular daily basis. And I love the colors they come in and I kind of feel like they're 4th of July-ish, but I probably won't use these on the 4th of July. I am going to be using these on the 4th of July and I think they're just so gorgeous. They're huge. I did get several. You get six in each container and I, bought a dozen of the red, white, and blue flag ones. I think they're really, really, really nice. Really a big plate. It's 12 and a half inches by 10 and a quarter inches. That's a huge dinner plate. Perfect for a big old barbecue with potato salad and all the trimmings. And I love these. These I like more, but I figured I'd get both because why not? They're a great deal. You get six in each package for a buck and they're so fun and festive, you guys. I love getting throwaway dishes at the Dollar Tree. There's nothing like it, and I just absolutely love these for the 4th of July. I'm even wearing a red, uh, what is this called? Free Assembly from Walmart. Oh my God, you guys. That brand has really beautiful things. This is a floor-length cotton tiered dress that I just picked up from them. I think it was $29.99. I love Free Assembly at Walmart, but I feel like I look 4th of July-ish and I didn't even do it on purpose. That's the funny thing. It just always happens to, to me sort of like that. Well, not always. Sometimes I really clash, but 
It is what it is. Today I matched my 4th of July theme, but this isn't really a 4th of July haul, but it kind of is. So even though it's not a 4th of July haul, I do have a red, white, and blue tiara that I hold like a few of these. I picked up a few of them for my nieces as well. They're not gonna be here for the 4th of July, but I just think they're so cute. And you could wear them like a headband or you can wear them like that. You could do whatever you want with them, but they are really fun and cute. And I know like who wouldn't wanna wear that as like a fun little silly thing to wear for a little while on the 4th of July or whatever. Um, yeah, I just think they're so, so cute, you guys. The girls are gonna love them. So of course I had to pick up one for myself to play along with them when I give it to them, but I'll, I'll use it on the 4th of July. I think they're fun. And I did pick up these, and I'm so glad that I'm hauling them finally so I can put them outside on my um, gate. This one says, God bless America. And this one says, welcome. And they're very, very cool. And I'm probably gonna hang them on my my backyard gate as I'm coming into the one like driveway area. I just think they're so cute. Really, really a nice item for a dollar. And they're metal and I love, love buying metal items for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. You cannot go wrong for a buck to buy metal backyard decor. Just, it's a, it's a steal, you guys. Okay, I did, I bought these. Then I picked these up, and I think they're literally fun, just fun and phenomenal for a dollar. You guys know that I just love to buy sunglasses that are crazy and fun, and I do think that these are silly, and everyone's gonna wanna try them on and pretend that they're strumming or whatever. I could just see it. So I had to get these. I don't know what exactly I'm doing for the 4th of July, but I know that I'm gonna be passing these around and everyone's gonna be loving them. I just think that they're really, really a fun thing to wear. They're so silly and fun. And now I look like I'm so, some sort of like all American, like Tweedlebug or something. Like I, I actually love them. I love how sunglasses look in my hair. That's why I always buy them because they're just fun. They're crazy and fun. I did pick up a few of these um, tablecloths. They do have the red truck. They have like a bunch of different kinds, but I figured since I bought the red trucks, I would get this. I just think they're so fun and cute for a dollar to put over your table to make sure that nobody's stuff gets dirty or whatever. It's just nice to have tablecloths. And um, I, of course, I'm gonna reshare these because these are going to be part of my barbecue. I have picked up some extra ones and I love these trays, literally love them. So I'm gonna be using these during barbecue time to bring out drinks or to bring, put the food on. I just think they're amazing. I have quite a few of them now and I'm so glad that I found more of these. I love them. I also picked up some of these um, wind spirals. I picked up a couple of the ones with the camper one for me and one for my mother-in-law because I just think that they're really, really cute with the spiral. And one is gonna go on my camper, of course, because, you know, I have to. I picked up some more of these. Really pretty Crafter Square uh, stars. And I'm so excited that I found them. I'm just gonna hang them just like this in the trees in my backyard. I think they're so cool. I gotta get these stickers off, and I hope that they're not hard, okay, they're not hard to get off, which is awesome, but that'll look really pretty in the trees, and as they hang, they actually go like in that direction and stuff, and they're gonna look awesome in the trees, so I'm excited about that. I think that's really cute, 4th of July-ish, and very like simple. I'm not gonna paint them, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just hanging them as is. I did pick up one of these barbecue cleaners, because I think they're great for a dollar. They, they scrape off all the burnt up cheese and then you have the metal, they're just awesome for a dollar. When they get dirty, you toss them, they only cost a dollar. I've bought really expensive ones from Bed Bath & Beyond and honestly, these are my go-to ones. I also like the other one, I think I might have it in this haul also, that's just all metal across. That one is amazing, it lasts forever. But these are also really good to get out the burnt out cheese. 
like you scrape it out, really a great deal for one buck to clean your barbecue because nobody likes to put a new barbecue together. Let's be serious. I have picked up several of these because I'm gonna be barbecuing steak and sometimes when you bring stuff outside, it never makes it inside. So if they get thrown away, who cares? I'd rather these 50 cent knives get thrown away than my good steak knives. So that's an awesome, awesome buy for a dollar, you guys. Two for a dollar, and if they go in the garbage, who cares? Then I picked up several of these party poppers because they're really fun and festive and they match everything. And who doesn't love party poppers? Like, I know they make a mess, but it's all right. It's just paper in there. It'll degrade. It rains a lot where I live. I don't care. I love them. I love, love party poppers. Love them. I did pick up several of these um, just to have throughout the whole course of the summer, but they do say 4th of July. I just think they're really pretty and just really nice to have for barbecue times because there is also, what's Labor Day weekend? So I'll, I'll probably use these. I I'll, Maybe I'll use the bigger ones Labor Day. I don't know if I'm still in New York, but I did pick up several of these because you get 12. And I just think that they're fun to use, but they do say 4th of July on them, so mm, they'll probably get used up on the 4th of July. Who am I kidding? But I picked those up because they're super cute. They have the red truck, but they're just really, really cute. And then I did pick up some wind socks. First, I actually have to be honest, I found the, um, the spiral first, and I hadn't seen these yet. And then when I saw these, I had to pick these up because I just think that they're adorable. This one is the gnome one, and I think it's so cute. And I actually love the one with the treats, the summer like ice pop bomb and stuff like that. And I bought the gnome one for my mother-in-law, and I bought this one for me. I just love it for the backyard. I think wind socks are really fun to look at when you're just relaxing. It's just something to look at and nice, and I, I like them. I picked up a bunch of the bunting, I love it as well because I plan to I'm gonna hang now I did do a little garland with my gnomes but I, I keep meaning to record that and I probably will do like a little backyard tour but I picked up these solar lights red white and blue I feel like I'm gonna do the front gate with the trucks and the bunting and these lights I'm gonna strap them to the back of the gate and so it'll light up red, white, and blue, and I'll have the bunting on the 4th of July, and I'll alternate the trucks, or maybe just put up one truck. I'm not sure, but I think the bunting for a buck is a great buy as well. I got two of those. I love the bunting. It looks like that, and it's real fabric, and I love these friends. I love solar lights, you guys. I absolutely love, love, love solar lights, so I'm all in with that. I did pick up one of these cute metal tin buckets just to put some blue tableware in it. I love that it comes in blue. It's just so cute and fun for a buck, you guys. Like, seriously, how cute is that? For a few dollars, you have like this really put together look. And I just love throwaway utensils. You guys know that. I did pick up several of these little baskets. I love using these and then putting like a cute napkin or I actually bought the red and white checkered paper that the Dollar Tree sells. I don't know if I have it in my haul though. It might be in another bag or something, but I love that paper. Even if I'm making burgers and fries, actually I love to pretend like, you know, I'm whenever I make baked French fries like in my oven and burgers, even if they're on the grill, even in winter time, I like to serve them in these little baskets. I just think it's cute. And then you just put the little red and white tissue paper in it. And it's like you're eating at a diner, but you're not. I think they're so fun. I love that. So I picked up a few of these because after a while, they, I don't know, I just throw them away and pick up new ones every couple of years. And you get four for a dollar. And if you are having a lot of people over, you can put your utensils in here. That's like, you know, you could separate them out, forks, knives, spoons. And that's like another good way to put them out so that they don't blow away. They don't blow away like this. So that's something to think about if you're having a lot of people over. I have an antique vintage metal bucket that I use for my drinks. Um, I bought this to put all the bread in because 
I when I put the bread outside, I don't like it when people touch, like to put the buns. Okay, so I am crazy in certain areas. I don't like everybody smushing up the buns for the burgers and the hot dogs. So when you buy them, if you just put them all in here and then you move them around in the bucket, they're not all getting touched and mushed up because there's nothing worse than like a mashed up burger bun or a mashed up hot dog bun. But they don't get mashed up when you fill this up. I mean, I leave them in the bags, but I just put them in here. So when people feel like moving stuff up and setting up the barbecue, they're moving it right in here and they're not getting handled. So that may be crazy, but that's what I'm doing with this because I just like my buns to be fluffy <laughs> and that's it. I like fluffy buns and I cannot lie guys. That's the bottom line. So I picked up one of these and now I'm not going to put these on all together because then I'm going to look crazy. But you guys, this is so pretty for a buck. I'm not necessarily saying that this is 4th of July. This is really nautical, but it's so pretty. If you're just wearing like a, and the reds clash, they don't really match, but let's say you have on a pink top or a white top. Like I'm wearing this just so you guys can't see my flabby, flabby arms. I'm actually, it's a strap. It's like, you know, it has spaghetti straps and I'm actually not wear. I'm only wearing this for the video, but let's say you just have on a white top and you throw this scarf on it's like so nautical and fun and festive, lightweight for the summer, just really beautiful for a dollar, you guys. I absolutely adore this. If you're going to the shore and you just wanna put something in your hair real quick, like this is just so cute. It's really a beautiful piece of fabric with a really pretty print for just a dollar. So you can't go wrong. I, as far as I'm concerned, you can never have too many scarves which is a lie because I actually do have too many scarves, but I always say you can never have too many. Now, I was wearing these today when I started my video out. I'm sure you guys noticed, they're red. These are also from the Dollar Tree, they're kind of old. But I found these the other day and I thought they were kind of gorgeous too. And I always pick up red, I just love Dollar Tree sunglasses. For a dollar, you get a really cool pair of shades they protect your eyes from the sun, and they're just a dollar, you guys. And these are really super duper cute. I love them. I have I have to say that I love them. I do break sunglasses all the time. I, you know, I wear sunglasses day and night, basically. You guys know that I always, it's like my signature thing. I always have sunglasses on the top of my head. And so yeah, I can never have enough, and for a dollar, I'm not leaving them behind when I find super cute ones like this. They go right in the cart. I did pick up this one as well. I think that this one is actually super 4th of July-ish. So this one, this beautiful beach themed one is actually by Juncture, which is Canada's Dollar Tree brand Greenbrier product. But we've of course realized now that they're kind of here to stay and they're bringing it in more and more. But this one here, this red, white, and blue one, I literally think is just adorable. I'm gonna be, this is gonna be my 4th of July look right here, you guys. I can just tell you that right now. Expect to see this again. I'm loving it, for real. I can't help myself. These are the crazy things that I do that make me happy. But this one is actual Greenbrier Dollar Tree 4th of July. They put this out for the 4th of July and I just think it's awesome. You could wear it in your hair as a headband if you need something for the beach um, in your hair whatever it's just super cute and you could do so many things with it and honestly all summer you can wear this it's really really classic it is a classic classic print for a dollar for a dollar this is just seriously you could wear it to work it's very nice it's a classic scarf red, white, and blue. It does not look cheap at all. That's what impresses me. That does not look cheap at all. I did also pick up the 4th of July little containers because people might want to put like salads in them. I'm going to have pasta salad and all that stuff. I do have, I know I have more stuff like to put food, like big foods into, but these are also good for like putting out pickles and things like that. If you want to put olives out, they're perfect, they're throw away, you get six of them. And I just think that they match everything and it makes me happy. 
4th of July fun. Oh, not only did I buy, <laughs> you guys, I can, really cannot help myself. Not only did I get these patriotic glass, I think I actually got these for my son now that I'm thinking about it because I bought these as well and I love these too. These are so cute, you guys, really cute. And what they are is peace signs. And I love peace signs. I just love everything about that. It doesn't really, I mean, it is, at first you notice it, but then you don't really notice it. But let's be serious. That's where they're going to be the whole entire day. So how gorgeous are those? Okay. Seriously, I love my, I love my 4th of July outfit. Literally love my, this is my 4th of July outfit with a tank top, probably a bandana print maybe or striped tank top and capri pants. Yep. Loving it. Love, love that. And honestly, my son loves these silly kind of glasses too. He gets a kick out of them. He'll wear them for a few seconds and then he'll be like, okay, mom, I'm over it now. Along with the cool metal trucks, I did pick up a few of these um, that say you're a grand old flag. I think in my head, I have some kind of pattern that I wanna do on that gate with the bunting and the trucks and these, I absolutely love. And of course, you could just flip these over and do something entirely different with them. They're super duper beautiful. I probably will do something else with these after the 4th of July is over so that they're like double seasoned. Maybe I'll do something on this side and then leave them like that for that side. But I do have to say they are a little sharp on the edge. They're a little sharp, just a little, and they do kind of scare me. But I did get two of these because I have something in my head, but I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing with that and this and the bunting and the 4th of July solar lights on my front gate. But that's an awesome deal for a dollar. The metal corrugated little banners are beautiful. I did pick this up and I probably am just going to hang it right on my front door on the 4th of July. It says USA and it's just darling for a buck. I love it. It's super highly glittery. And I don't have a problem with that one bit. You guys know I love glitter. Love it. And I did pick up these glitter um, bows as well. Not sure exactly what I'm doing with them, but I picked them up. Maybe I might put them on my shutters when I put that on. Just maybe probably just on the 4th of July because these, when they get rained on, um, these are okay. But this will not last very long because it's not very big. When they're small, even if I put Mod Podge on them, it does seep into this because it's thinner. Like a bigger sign lasts a little longer, but these, they'll make it for the 4th of July and maybe a couple, like a couple weeks after that. That's it. So I'm going to put them on my door, put those on the shutters, and then I'm done with that. I did pick up some of these fans, and I think they're such a cute buy. You get three fans for a dollar, but what's really cute about them is, first of all, of course, I do have a pool in my backyard, but depending on what I end up doing for the 4th of July, somebody might not want to go in the pool or the hot tub or whatever, and they might be dying of heat, or I might just keep these for another day, and then if I'm somewhere else and I'm dying of heat, just use them. But they're so cute. They do come in various um, patterns. This pattern is the summer treats, which they did carry over into many other items this year and I think that is such a cute one with the ice cream and the ice pops I love that and then they do have this pattern which is also on the plate I love this pattern as well with the stars that's so cute for a dollar I mean they're not like gonna last forever but they're definitely good on a really hot day and then you do get the red truck one so these are the three that you get in every pack which I think is kind of unbelievable for a buck you guys for a dollar you get three awesome paper fans to share with your friends so they can cool down on a holiday I realize I do I do have the basket liners they were just in another bag I had to switch up bags this is kind of a huge haul you guys you get 15 sheets and I just think that that is so adorable I picked up like four of these that'll last me a while and I also have really cute like napkins for different types of food that I could always put in here. But I just think that that's so cute, you guys. For a buck, a couple dollars, that's awesome. 
and easy cleanup as well. I just love things like that. Really, I really do. Then I did pick this up. I showed it in a walkthrough. It's actually for, I thought it would be good to put in a Father's Day um, car cleaning kit basket, but I actually bought one of these because they're really, really absorbent. I picked up one of these to um, actually clean my hot tub because when you open the lid of the hot tub, there's always like a little gunk that you like, you know, you put the chemicals in and stuff, but the water always leaves like a little line as it dissipates and dissolve, you know, evaporate. What am I talking about? The water always leaves like evaporation lines and a little dust. And I, I polish it with this because this doesn't scratch. If it's not going to scratch the paint of your car, it's not going to scratch up the hot tub either. So I figured I'd use that for that. I did pick up a bunch of flip-flops to have by um, in a basket by my back door in case people come over and want it because I'm going to be able to open my pool up soon and I'm vaccinated. My husband's vaccinated. My son's vaccinated. So people can come and hang out at our house again. We can have company. I'm so excited. So I want to have extra flip-flops at the house for people who may come wearing shoes who wants to wear shoes in the backyard and we do have dogs so I think people should always wear flip-flops in my backyard you never know what the heck Max or Mabel might do I mean they are animals so I did pick up several pairs of these I will say this they look like they're better quality but I don't know about all that they feel exactly the same as the old ones maybe these little ridges will stop your feet from starting to hurt you from that I I doubt it honestly I they probably will feel I I cannot wear these flip-flops all day but I could definitely wear them into my backyard and that's exactly what they're good for and I think they're super cute for a dollar they're very very nautical beachy cute so I picked up a few in like a size large because I figure a big foot cannot fit the little ones but a little foot can fit the big ones and just wear them around the backyard. And if it's too big for them and they don't want to take it home, they don't have to. But it's nice to have spare flip-flops in the backyard that they can either leave in or throw away. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm sure they'll take them with them. But I just think that they're a great buy for a buck. Just to have extra ones that if somebody wants to take a dip. And you see how these have this really cute pattern. They're very like, they look like they're from Target. But they're not, Target made flip-flops like this a couple years ago that I loved. Because they were thicker and just, they were just a better quality flip-flop. But these look like those and I, I actually love this pair. But I bought a couple pairs of each because I just think it's important to have extra for people if they come by. And I did get a couple of these as well. Some people just cannot wear flip-flops. And a couple of these. I have hauled these before. And I actually brought a bunch of them to the shelter, but I picked up a few of the really big men's black ones as well to have in case men come over and some gray and blue ones. I don't even know where the black ones are right now, but I picked up like a couple of everything. I found them again and I said, you know what? I didn't really keep any at my house, just my pairs that I blinged up. So I picked up just a few to have for emergency poolside needs. Cause I like whoever comes to my house, to truly feel like they are on a mini little staycation. That makes me so happy. That makes me feel like whatever money we spent on that hot tub was well spent and like the pool well spent. It's like money well spent every time other people enjoy it. That's how I feel about it. I picked up some of these. I love these things. I don't know, somehow they just always get eaten up by the dogs when they're not in use. Everything that like is on the table or on the chair in my house is fair game. The other ones that I had, the clear ones, the dogs chewed up. Somehow they got to them. Oh, the cat probably knocked it down. That happens too. But I picked these up because I have those cute lemon signs that I bought and I didn't hang them on the wall. I'm actually going to put them in my kitchen area and I moved my nautical stuff to my mantle. So I needed a couple more of these and I'm going to set myself up a cute little area in the kitchen because I bought all that lemon stuff so I want to have the lemons carry over into my eating area so yeah I needed these desperately and I'm so happy that I found some 
it's like inventory time in a lot of our Dollar Trees. And during inventory time, you find all sorts of crazy things you haven't seen in ages. And that's always exciting um, to find things like blasts from the past. Well, sometimes things are gross and dirty, but sometimes they're not. And it's so cool. Or so, Also, during inventory time, everything that's in the stock room has to go out. So sometimes things that they never put out that are awesome end up making it out by the case. And that's also really exciting. So you just never know. Inventory time is like the wild wow factor. I love that. Um, but this is wow factor in and of itself. You guys, this is wood. Wood, wood, real wood. For real wood, yes, wood. It's like wood. I can't say it enough. It's actual wood. It's painted, real paint with this nautical rope. I am in 100% love with this. This is probably an item from Party City because it's not a Dollar Tree item. It does not say where it's from, but I'm almost positive that this is a Party City item. See, it does not say distributed by Greenbrier or anything like that. And it's gorgeous. It even has, look, it has, it's like so not a Dollar Tree item. I love this to hang by my pool. This is like gonna look so good with all those other signs that I have and it's actually even nicer than they are. Really a beautiful item. Then, you're not gonna believe this. This is not some cheesy little thin sign. This is like a heavy duty menu board with the barbecue, perfect for a dad who is the grill master. And if you picked up the Father's Day grill master thing and you're lucky enough to find this and you get your Father's Day gift just get a bunch of stuff for the grill like they have the they have everything this would be so cute for a dad who loves barbecuing or smoking meats men love to smoke meats but this is just a cute little add-in to add I, I think it's awesome and it does have the, the wood it actually has holes so you can even put like a metal a metal chain on it so it does hang for a longer time but again not a Greenbrier product I think it's really unbelievable an amazing deal I love this I picked up several of these to give as presents during the summer whenever a hostess invites me to her barbecue she's getting one of these bad boys so if you know me and you're watching you're gonna get one so be happy because this is a score I love it uh, I'm actually I don't even know if I even hold the other ones yet I did show them in a walkthrough but I picked up a couple of these for my son and he already took them. Um, but I picked up a couple more for my nieces, even though they're not like pinks and reds, my nieces aren't going to care. They're going to enjoy playing with the Lego. So I picked up a couple of these because they're a great buy 100 pieces of, you know, make it blocks for a dollar. You guys, this is a phenomenal deal. I can't say it enough. If you see these, snatch them up, put them in your attic whatever and give them out as extra little stocking stuffers kids love building blocks when I was really young Lego was super popular and then it kind of fizzled out but then now it's like blown up and everybody loves Lego so yeah fake Lego for a dollar at the Dollar Tree 100 pieces and it works with real Lego so my son loves it he was he actually wasn't even like oh I don't even he didn't even pretend like he didn't want it he was like wow that's a really great deal mom thanks I'll take those and I was like wow that never happens because he's always like oh, I don't really want that and then later he'll be like actually I kind of do want it and I'm like yeah I know how you are but he actually just straight up wanted that which is you know when you're when you have a teenager that is a pleasure when you're when your teenager is actually happy about something you got them life is good I have more of these. I guess I bought three bags of those. I was really happy to see them. So here's like, this is one of the things I was telling you guys about. I actually was with Pamela the other day at the Dollar Tree and we were shopping together and it kept happening with some other items in another bag. They're not here, but she witnessed it because I told her how I always find like just one of something and I kept finding like one thing here, one thing here out of place. And then as we're walking, I found this. And actually, I have never found this one before. I found the other Desanges, and the year before I had the pink ones for color-treated hair. I still have a couple bottles of that. Um, and I found the other ones in the white bottles with the gold cap and all the stuff that came along with it, the conditioner and everything. But this one, 
This one is Professional Hair Luxury Oleo Miracle, O-L-E-O -E Miracle, Replenishing System Shampoo with three precious oils, Argon, Camellia, and Pracoxy, P-R-A-C-A-X-I, Pracoxy, for over-processed and damaged hair. And like, wouldn't you think that I'm going to need this? For summertime so it couldn't have come at a better time I wish I had found the replenishing conditioner but I found the re replenishing system shampoo and I'm psyched to find that let me know if you guys had ever found these in the past because I'm almost positive this must be an inventory gem like I was just talking about and I was so excited to find it I wish I found the conditioner you never know I could always order the conditioner off of Amazon or something so I have both and get to test it out because if I really like it I can always order it again but I love when I score stuff like this at the Dollar Tree this is what makes me come back again and again you guys that's what I'm talking about the wow factor makes me so happy it's addictive uh, I did pick up some of these because every time my son does backyard work when he's done taking the things to the garbage, he just throws the gloves right in the garbage and is like, ugh, they're filthy. And at this point, anything that will get him helping me do the backyard work is fine. So I just buy new ones. They're only a dollar, works for me. Who wants to wash those anyway? Um, I did pick up the Grumpy Doodle book and I just think it's adorable. I don't know why, but I think it's funny and it's good to put in grumpy people's gifts. I think it's good for kids. It's just so adorable. I think it's good for kids to doodle in it. Um, they'll doodle in it, and it's already doodled in. It says, who is in the car? So you can just write who's in the car. See, like, it prompts kids to doodle in it. I don't know, but I think it's a really cool book. Very cute, and it was originally $9.99, a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Who could pass that up, you guys? It's, like, super cute for a kid to, like, doodle stuff in, and it... They don't have to be grumpy, but it's just a cute book. I picked up two of these, one in red, but I actually started already using it because I made potato salad the other day and I put it in here um, and I just stuck it in the fridge. These are fine. Um, I use them for food all the time because they sell other ones in the food area that are exactly the same plastic. So I do like these. I think the shape is really cute. So I have the red one and this one and I like to put green salad in it or potato salad or pasta salad, tuna salad. I'm not going to ever make this much tuna salad, but I do make this much potato salad if I'm having a barbecue or this much pasta salad and definitely this much green salad. And it just looks so fun in this container. I just love it. And I do have the red one, like I said, and I think that's perfect for the summer. Um, I did pick up this little book. It's called Miller's Field Guide to Silver, and I showed it in my walkthrough. It's originally $10 in the US, but it just shows you like how to price or like figure out what is valuable. I like flea marketing. I like vintage silver stuff. I find a lot of actually, I've bought things at garage sales that are silver and sold them on eBay for like a lot of money actually. Because at first I wanted to like spray paint them and make backyard art with them. And then I, I bought like this tea thing, like a tea canister. It, it turned out to be really expensive. I just Googled it, the name on the bottom. I can't remember right now. But I sold it for like $119 and I bought it for like five bucks. So I got really lucky, but I was planning on spray painting it. And before I did that, I Googled the name on the bottom and then I didn't spray paint it. I sold it on eBay. But I just think that this might be good um, when I'm at a flea market or something, I could take it with me or I can look through it and learn more about things that I find. I love flea marketing and I just love, I love vintage stuff a lot, a lot. And I love things like that. So you never know. It's good to have for a dollar. You can't go wrong. It's always good to thumb through it. You might retain some of the information and then boom, you spot it. You never know. I picked up a couple of these also for my nieces because they're going to love it and they could probably use it in their pool or whatever. Uh, no, they could use it in their bathtub. They cannot put this in the pool. They might ruin the pool, but it's sculpting soap and it's like putty soap. It's so cool. You guys 
for a dollar. This is not a Dollar Tree item. It's by Body Ecology Kids. And I just think that this is a phenomenal deal for a buck. Scoop these up and save them for stocking stuffers or if kids come over for a weekend, scoop them up and save them for any kids in your life. This is bathtub fun for sure on a rainy day, a camp day. If you have a backyard like fake pool, like those little kiddie pools, oh yeah, use that in the pool. They'll get clean and have fun all at the same time. Why not? It's summer. Let them do whatever they want. That's that's, I can't help myself. That's how I am with kids. Just let them enjoy themselves. Life is too short to not have fun when you're little. Um, then I did pick up a couple of these to try them. I, you know, I don't always buy this kind of stuff, but because you can cook it in the frying pan instead of in the oven in the summer, this might be a good thing to have. So I picked it up. I picked up two of them so we could try it out. It says, ready in 20 minutes, crispy skillet potatoes. I don't know if I'm going to like that because it, the word crispy kind of scares me because is it crispy because they don't like get cooked and they're still kind of hard or whatever, but I'm going to try them out and I'll let you guys know if they're any good. If anybody's tried them yet, let me know if they are good. If they're not yummy and they don't like cook, I want my food to be like my potato to be cooked. You know what I mean? Because sometimes these kind of potatoes, they don't rehydrate. Anyway, let me know if you guys like them. And I'll let you know the same as soon as I try them. So we can swap information. I picked this book up because it left me baffled. I'm still baffled. I'm going to probably bust it out. Um, wait, watch this book come to life. Download the free app. <gasps> Okay, I'm going to have to download the app because seriously, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm probably going to have this at my 4th of July dinner or over the weekend at my barbecue and we're going to try to figure out what this says. It says, over 200 stories for those with no time to waste, life in five seconds. Now, when I look at these stories, okay, well, this one obviously is like somebody got shot. Sorry, I had to answer that. Someone's going to the house to pick up some of my furniture. I'm starting to sell off my furniture. And um, Chris and John have to help them. So you guys see, like, there are all these pictures, and they tell a story, but some of them I just can't figure out. So, oh, oh, wait a minute. On the bottom, it, ha it says Sherlock Holmes, Adolf Hitler, Wait a minute. I don't know. This book is so Cuban Missile Crisis. And then it tells you a story. I didn't notice that in the beginning. It says like something. It gives you a hint, at least, of what you're looking at. And this one says Al Capone. Okay, this is the craziest book. I, I think it's a real conversation starter. It says, in this caffeine-induced, jet-fueled, celebrity a minute world what you need is instant information and I guess in this book visually you get that that is exactly what you're getting if you can decipher it it's like in picture code so I don't know why but I, I have to show it to my son I'm gonna look at it tonight again at dinner and we're gonna go over it because this is a very strange book I'm very intrigued by it I don't I don't know why but I'm I really and truly am this is another one of those inventory gems, you guys. I don't know if you remember, the Dollar Tree had this a while ago. It is a jewelry repair kit. It has 103 pieces, and it does come with these itty bitty little pliers, which are actually really useful for repairing jewelry. Um, I had bought several of these in the past, and I always use them for um, the earring backings. They're really great for that. They have the jump rings to fix your jewelry and they do have this little set of pliers. So I did find a couple of these on the shelf and they must have been like lost behind the shelf or something, but they, it's in perfect condition. I picked the, both of them up because honestly, that's a really great little item for a dollar. It's very useful. All of the ones that I have in the past, I used up all of the ear backings and everything because I'm always losing my ear backings. So I just think that that's a great buy. For a dollar, you can't get ear backings for a dollar. Not that I know of anywhere. I did pick up one of these tool kits because um, I thought it would be cute to probably put some of my husband's 
um, gifts in here that I picked up for him. Not necessarily all from the Dollar Tree, but most of the time he gets snacks and I could put them in here. And I do love these stickers. I suggested that we put that on there. More than likely, after I do gift it to my husband, and you do get, I think you get four different stickers in this pack, by the way, so you can use it for multiple gifts. I just think it's a good buy for a buck, for sure. Um, but once, and it comes off, but once I give my husband whatever I'm giving him in here, he's not gonna use this as a toolbox. But I'm probably gonna spray paint it, maybe bling it up, and I'm gonna keep all my fake nails in it. That's what I'm gonna do. I've already started doing that, but um, just because I needed a place to put them. I think I already hold these, but I'll just quickly show you guys some of them. I've been really debating, like starting using these nails, and I have the new color. Um, I like this kind of glue. I almost did put fake nails on the other day, but then I stopped myself because I tried the sassy and chic ones and I, I'm almost positive that I hold those. That's why I just did it really quickly. But um, I'm going to bling this up and make it a nail case. But I'm still kind of like in the inception phase of accepting doing fake nails. It's sort of like hard for me to like process the whole process. I took the nails out and I was trying to fit them onto my nails. And then I was trying to do it with the sassy and chic ones. And I have a lot of like mixed feelings about the sassy and chic nails. I will say that I think these are gorgeous, but here's the thing. They are, so you, so this is what you get with sassy and chic. You just get exactly what you see, right? Four, eight, 12. Now when they're really short and I'm just going to share this straight up on camera, when they're really short, they're not too bad, but do you guys see that that like my real nail does not bend like that. So I was trying to measure them on to my finger and then to cut them to the point where they're like exactly, I don't want them any longer than my actual finger because that's no good. That is like already broken. Do you guys see that? So I was thinking that I'm just going to clip them to be the same length as my nails and kind of treat them like they are nail stickers because they're very, very thin. So I wasn't ready to go that route yet. Cause then you gotta, you gotta glue them on and then you have to cut around. And I wanted to file my real nails short because I, I want to try the sassy and chic. I did hear other haulers say that they love the sassy and chic nails. In fact, the person who I heard say that she loves them is Sea Panda Crafts. So her nails always look beautiful. And I'm just curious and I'm gonna try, uh, yeah, and I did lose one, but that's all right. I got two packs and that one didn't work for my finger anyway, so it's all good. But um, yeah, so I'm prepping myself for that. And I did pick up these as well. I absolutely love these. If I ever figure out how to use these, I'm gonna wear these all the time. I bought like six packs of these because I think they're so fun. I love blue fingernails, obviously. It's like one of my favorite colors to polish my nails. So yeah, I picked up those additionally. I think I shared these already, but once I get them out of here, we're done with that. Oh yeah, I did, I did share these. Okay, sorry guys, I'm getting a little redundant because I picked up extra ones in case I drop them or I dropped one already. Like I'm clumsy, I have to have extra plus like my husband said to me, you're not going to like fake nails. If you pop one off, you're going to freak out if there is a fingernail missing its color on your hands. So I'm going to always have extra in case I do lose one. I could just glue one back on because I'll have extra. So that's why I picked up several. I don't know. I'm neurotic. You guys realize that I am. I actually do like my nails to look pretty nice all the time. I don't really ever not have them polished. Usually when my nails get gross is when I decide to do DIYs and take like a day to do DIYs, then do my nails, then kind of relax. I sort of plan those days out in advance for myself, but I did get more and I am going to put them in here after I give my husband his Father's Day gift. I picked up these original bazookas for my son because I know he loves bazooka gum and they have the little comics and they're just so adorable. So I picked that up. 
he loves that gum. And I did actually find a couple of these. I shared them in a walkthrough a while ago and I'm actually wearing it today. It is a pretty cool hard candy eyeshadow and I just have the blue and the white on today and I blended it in. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I found just a few of these and a few other colors, but I haven't hauled them all at the same time yet. I also picked up a tube of this Kiss Precision Nail Glue, again, because of the whole nail glue preparation. I'm getting there, getting to that point. I picked up some no-dos a while ago. I showed these in a walkthrough because I'm probably gonna need them when I'm driving to Florida or whatever, and you can't always find these, so I figured I would just pick them up for a dollar just in case. I've never actually needed anything like that, but maybe John, I don't know. I just picked them up just in case I need them if I'm getting really sleepy and I'm driving really late at night. And, you know, it's the equivalent to a cup of coffee, so it's not gonna give me a heart attack. I wouldn't take more than the prescribed amount. And I just figured if I am driving cross country or to Florida or wherever, I might need that. You just never know. I did find these and I showed them in my walkthrough. They are really a small size, but they're beyond incredible, wonderful value for a dollar. These are definitely more money online. I've checked at this point and um, they are Crabtree and Evelyn Avocado Olive Oil and Basil Ultra Moisturizing Hand Therapy. And these are great stocking stuffers. Um, they do come sealed. I'm already using it. It smells, it, even though it's avocado and basil, it has a little bit of a lemon scent to it as well. It's really, really very good lotion. I really love it. I have it in my purse already. I bought several of these to keep for little stocking stuffers or just little add-in, little whatever. If you're sending something out to someone, throw one of these in. It weighs almost nothing, but it's delightful. The smell is amazing. You cannot go wrong. And Dollar Tree is putting these in all sorts of crazy places that you wouldn't even ever think to look for them. So you got to look high and low, you guys. I did demonstrate it in my walkthrough. It's crazy what you got to do to find some of these things sometimes. They're there, but if you're not really hunting, you might miss it. You know what I want to share? I want to share my polish, actually. I bought these. I showed these all in walkthroughs. And I'm actually currently wearing them all. I'm wearing this polish on this nail right here, the teal one, over this blue. And I put this super cute, it's called by Revlon Moon Candy Nail Art on my blue, dark blue nail. I love that effect that it has. It's gorgeous. So for three bucks, I did a really cute manicure. Um, I actually love nail polish. I love the gel nail polish the most. I put that as my base and it dried instantly. So then I could just add the glitter and it was pretty effortless. I did have a little trouble with these drying because I don't have the patience, but I do like the colors and it was a great, great buy for a dollar. This one is Wet n Wild One Step Gel. I love One Step Gel. That's my favorite kind of polish. And this is Maybelline Color Show Glitter. Gorgeous glitter. Beautiful. Absolutely love that. That's on here and it's just phenomenal. And this is the Revlon. You get both for a dollar. And these are just great buys, you guys. You cannot go wrong with any kind of beauty buy brand name for a buck. It just, it never ceases to amaze me. I did show these in a recent walkthrough, but I decided to do something a little different. So if you're paying attention and you've been watching my video from beginning to end, you're about to get a score if this works for you because you guys, these were so nice. This is a size for the iPhone 10, beautiful case. Um, each style only came in like these three are for the iPhone 10 and they didn't have it for the iPhone 7 and 8, but I did buy some for the iPhone 7 and 8 as well. This is for the iPhone 10. It's beautiful and silver and gorgeous. This is that metallic pink and little bit of green and then, you know, peach. So beautiful. And then this one is why I couldn't walk away. I love these kind of screen um, phone protectors. I love 
love them. I just can't handle how much I love these. And I was like, nope, I need to buy it. And what I'm, isn't that gorgeous? Like it's crazy nice, you guys. So gorgeous. So if you have an iPhone 10 and you would like to win this giveaway, hashtag iPhone 10 iPhone 10 or iPhone X, whatever you write, I'll get it for somebody is get one person is going to win all three of these iPhone 10 cases because I couldn't leave them behind. They were too nice. And I have recently dropped off a ton of cell phone cases to the shelter just like a couple months ago. So I wasn't going to do it again, but I just, I really wanted to share these with you. And I could, because of this guy, you guys are getting a giveaway because I was like, this is phenomenal looking. I have to buy it. And I kind of feel like it also goes with my whole red, white, and blue themed. This is my red, white, and blue 4th of July way too early haul. But hashtag iPhone 10 if you can use this and you will receive this if you win. You must be a subscriber. You must be 18 years of age or older. Has nothing to do with YouTube. And please do open your subscriptions so that they are public subscriptions. Because if I do not see that you are a public subscriber, when we do the hard candy giveaway, you cannot win that giveaway. I'm letting you guys know in advance. Please look it up on YouTube and open your subscriptions up so that you are a public subscriber. Then get a load of these. Um, these are for the iPhone case 7, 8 compatible. First of all, I can't. If this was for my phone, I'd have bought 10 of them. This is gorgeous. Fluorescent pink, you guys, and fluorescent yellow. I was like, what? That's what happened. Literally, I was like that in the store. Then you get this really beautiful glitter, kind of like it has like a stone effect, like marbly effect, um, glitter rose gold and glitter gold. So if you own an iPhone 7, 8, Please put hashtag iPhone 7, 8 if you would like to enter for this giveaway. So if you're paying attention and you made it this far, I'll know who you are when you enter this giveaway if this works for you because I just couldn't leave them. I was like, I really want to share that this, I want to share this with these guys. And um, yeah, so I picked these up, three for the lucky iPhone 7, 8 owner and three for the iPhone 10 owner. And if you are interested, make sure to leave that comment down below. It will only be for this video and I will announce a winner sooner than later. Um, I have not yet announced a winner to my lemon giveaway. I'll be doing that. You know what? By the time this uploads, I may have already done it, but if not, then I'll be doing that as well. I think I probably am going to do that tonight. So I might've already announced the winner for that by the time, but as of right now, I haven't yet. So Keep your eyes peeled for that and check and see if I've announced the winner for that yet. Then um, I did already put this in a Ziploc bag because I don't trust these, but once you put them in a Ziploc bag, they're great. Um, these are the ice packs and these are like $4 at Stop and Shop and at CVS, they're like $6. So for a buck, of course, I'm going to pick that up. What I like to do is put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in my freezer, obviously, and freeze it. And when I go grocery shopping, I take that with me because when it's really hot out, your food will ruin in like the 10 minutes it takes you to get home. And sometimes I get distracted and things take me a little longer than 10 minutes. So why let my food go bad when I could just bring that with me on a hot summer day? Um, I'm sure you guys saw that I did find the gorgeous L'Oreal Infallibles that everyone has been hauling. In my thumbnail, I shared them. And these are really beautiful, you guys. So you get this smoldering eclipse. It's a really gorgeous, gorgeous color. Really beautiful metallic lip paint. It's insanely gorgeous. You get this chrome cherry. I'm gonna swatch some in a minute. Um, you can find this gorgeous galactic foil is the name of this one. This one is Liquid Venom. Beautiful. That is a beautiful color. Really, really beautiful. And this one is Moon Lust. Actually picked this one up for a friend because I don't really do this kind of pink, 
but she does. So I am going to swatch, of course, I'm gonna swatch Chrome Cherry because it is so beautiful. And I'm saying it like that because that's how it's spelled. It's spelled like French underneath there, but it's so gorgeous, gorgeous. And everyone that I saw wearing this, cause I've seen a lot of people haul it, Every single person that I saw haul it and wear it, I was like, I love those lipsticks. They are gorgeous. They really look metallic. So beautiful packaging. Love that. Looks high end. L'Oreal is not cheap. Wow. It's so nice. I, I didn't realize that it opened like that though. I don't know why, but I forgot. Look at how pretty that red is. That is a beautiful red. And it really has like a metallic, like car paint kind of shine to it. Um, that is so beautiful. I just realized that on this package, on the package, and I know you guys saw that I went into La La Land because I thought I was like illiterate for a second, but it does say Chrome Cherry, i.e., which is like French. But then on the back of the package, it actually says number 338 Chrome Cherries. C-H-E-R-R-I-E-S. So maybe they just ran out of space for the S. I have no idea. But yes, so these are really incredible. Incredible. They're all beautiful. I love them. I was very thrilled to find these. And they're at the Dollar Tree, you guys. I'm obsessed. They're spilling everywhere. Um, yeah, so I love it. Some of them are gifts. But this one is for sure mine. I love this color. Love it. And, um, oh, you know what? I keep meaning to open, I might as well do it on this one, this blue container on my red, white, and blue haul. This is the Maybelline Gray Over It that I kept telling you guys I thought was a really good product. Um, I'm actually going to open it because I've been using the other one and I really like it. But look at this color. I have actually been using it really really like the color it is like a beautiful brown lipstick really nice it's not gray at all it's not gray at all do you guys see that it is such a beautiful color isn't that gorgeous I love that color smells like toffee and I just think that that's a beautiful fall color it's not gray at all and I kept meaning to show you guys because I never swatched it and then I tried it on and I was like, that's beautiful. All the other ones are pretty true to what they say, but this gray over it is gorgeous. It's like a perfect brown lipstick. Beautiful. Perfect color. I love it. Um, I think I'm going to end my video here. I do have so many more items to share with you guys that I just can't get to. The video will get to be too long, but I'm grateful that you guys stayed with me so long. Make sure to enter for those iPhone case giveaways because those are amazing. And um, do like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video or enjoyed Dollar Tree hauls and would like to become a permanent member of the Confessions of a Dollar Tree family. I would love to have you. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.